Hi there, Chris Benson's here and this is the pub quiz at home from Tuesday, May the 25th. Uh, there was a bit of a glitch during the live uh, recording and we had to do it on two different streams. So the idea of this video is at least to put them together again, as they should be. So apologies if you can't hear all the questions, it's a smartphone um, quiz. Uh, but you'll get the idea of the evening and how it went. And as I say, apologies if the, the stream does uh, buffer at times. But this is as recorded, uh, all on cut. Um, pub quiz at home from the 25th of May. Enjoy. We are oh, live. Wait, wait. We're going. Yeah, we're going. Hello. 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 We are live. Welcome to the quiz. Now, I'll just remind you. Just one minute. And then you will that as a reminder. Just in case. Can I eat a thing in the glass one? No. By the way, mine what? Oh, the boy, yeah. Eric, Eric, Eric. Right, go on now. Eric. So, guys, you know, on the last week, uh, when we, when I said that Simpsons episode called Lisa's Wedding, bit in it, where I, I thought Homer and uh, Dad was in the future, because Marge went, mm. oh, Lisa goes, I'm getting married, and then my, my Marge goes, That's awesome. And then, like, after a while, it goes, it's so stupid. Mm. But it left for work for. Five minutes ago. Um, right, mm -hmm. pin is H seven six eight one five H eight one five. As I say, apologies. I genuinely think that the stream will be even worse mm -hmm. tomorrow with uh, the Europa League final. Educated guests um, isn't it next after bit bit different. Hello, X Dominoes again. Mm -hmm. um, great to see you last night. To see you, you guys just did really well. Finished six mm. last night. Um, week is a live Wednesday quiz. Then the week after, what we'll do is a pre recorded one, but then we'll move the smartphone one week because I'm in Blackpool. So that's the plan. But I will tell you more about that next week. The next quiz after Wednesday, <laughs> 815. H768. Your article earlier. Uh, um how are you i guess that one is should because he are the only person there yeah yeah that's what i mean no we have me oh because me did say me and him him uh um apple and june the fifth we have not long um We've got a new one marathon. Oh, exciting. Chippenham Hospital Radio. So it's on four places. You can listen for starters on Monday at stlooksound.co.uk or your page uh, on a Scottish community station this Saturday, the first 3tfm.org.uk. They're playing the f an hour of uh, okay. the announced today. These tracks all from 1983. Oh, it's from eight seven six eight one five. Thank okay. you. Right. I'm just who's struggling with the signal, so we'll just message Lauren to. Oh, there you go. Cross checking the uh, problem at all. Oh, the links are in. That's good. Any blob? Was it made? It look on the other side, like yeah. It's very blunt, isn't it? It's like the pop. Uh, and that um, one there. Messaging, but of course, seven six five. Hopefully, it straightens out. Um, obviously, you know where the channel goes. Just one minute. It's the questions on the tablet and the as well. See, it's not the internet's not been the same since the no, I... just one minute, Eric, 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 one at a time. We'll because it's okay. okay. By the way, we moved it to choose. I mean, um, I think there'd be a lot of people trying to watch it. There's a lot of Man United fans abroad. Final action mm. might be. Yeah, so, I mean, struggling to that. Anyway, 
think he's going to win the Champions League. <laughs> Who do I think is going to win the Champions League? I think... I want Chelsea to Well, it'd be nice if Chelsea wasn't in Manchester City, I guess, wouldn't it? But, well, um, Man City have never won the Champions League. Well, have they? No, Manchester City's never... That's I don't even think they've won the Europe. Um, well, I will have to wait and see what happens. The P6815, great to see the links in the MI. Um, can I read it out again in the... Of course I will. Well, Richard, no problem. Mm-hmm. Wimsy Wobblers were after the pin. No, Tom, just emailing it you now, Richard, mm-hmm. in case you can't hear me. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, um, Josie... Tell, tell, tell us that. Email everyone the pin. Um, um, tell me so, what you've been doing at school. Did, well, either of you are work out. Mm, so what we did is African music. And on the jambies, the um, elephants and the shakers and the nerves. So I've had a go at all. A, j- a jambi is... It's like it's like it's a drum. It's a drum from Africa, but it's like that. It's brown, and the top bit's made out of goat sheep. Goat, goat skin. Goat skin. Sorry. Goat skin. Made out of goat skin. Yeah, the top bit. All right. Okay. H seven six eight one five. That's H seven six eight one five. Is your pain? Uh, we'll give it about five minutes. Do you want to go and chase your woman? Can you tell me? He wants to know how fast he is to pop these. Then you can go and t- see more of uh, Okay, Eric, you type up. That's now. No. He's oh. popping them live. One, two, three, 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 go. Three. He's popping them all. Mm. He's, the idea. Is you want to see how quick he is to tell them. Can I do it? You can when Eric's turn. Turn it over. Um, yeah? Um, no? Yeah, yeah, oh, way. You have to make sure they're all the same way. Oh, daddy, it's... Oh, no. Can I take but Let's see if Georgia can... Not, not, re- not you. Know. Where you can. Don't, um... Joseph, do it this way and press them. Turn it over. Press them. My. Done. Does not count. And it does not count. Oh. So that was part one that was recorded from the 25th of May and then I went back into YouTube, started a new stream and this is the conclusion. I didn't have to uh, start another stream thankfully. So this is part two from the 25th of May of Pub Quiz at Home. Enjoy. We're back. Uh, you might well find us. New theme. Apologies that you see YouTube struggling in a minute. Um, well, we will carry on. Of course we will. We will carry on. Uh, I'll try and send you all the link. Oh, so that's loading up. So now hopefully the link is a little bit better this time. Nobody's found us yet. Be well. What, you're on Google. I know you. No, well, right, H7681.5, so, hello, three people have found us, I'm just emailing him, the business, thinking it'd be busy, the internet's like a gerbil here tonight, uh, but I will see the code, H7681.5, no problem at all, H7685. H7685. 
So E equals at home the pin. Uh, sorry about the wait, everyone. The, my hotmail is now deciding to go slow. So just whilst we wait, there we go. Whilst it's now. Is in the bear with me new, new link and have on YouTube. Jaden do this, does he? Um, new. I've not got a PA. <laughs> is eight seven six eight one five? Chris. That's now being sent to everyone. We'll give you five minutes to make sure you're all logged in. Uh, right, there we go. That's in there. I'll get ready to send to everyone on there. So let's close that off. Yes. No, they didn't share a bundle. No, you didn't share a bundle. There's two left. I don't know what happened to the last one. Oh, then they've had one each. Right. So six of us are fine. Good. That's good. We have, in terms of teams, we have uh, Eric Stominos. We have the Ling of the Men's Team Maniacs. We have Team Hewitt. Hello, Team Hewitt. We have the 1D10Ts. We have the Wobble. Hello, the Wobble. Christina Rome. We have Team Denny. We have the Indoors. We have and We also have the NY. Okay, so that could be it. We'll give it a minute uh, and we'll make sure everyone's found us. Apologies that we had to start a new stream, but we, we, we'll get there. Um, just in case there's any video else that H76815, I think that could be it. Um, measurable on YouTube tonight. I'm on milk after last week, so we've got nine teams in. That's a good turnout for a Tuesday, it's definitely a good turnout. And thank you to everyone who came to the chapel house last night. We had 14 teams, uh, down at Low Morning Bread for last night. If you want to play, play next week, right. What is this? There's nine on my. Oh, Lauren says, "Is the Chapel House quiz on next Monday? With it being Bank Holiday Monday, yes, it is. Uh, if you do book a table, just say you're doing the quiz and you can have longer at the table. But yes, it is uh, happening. Right, I think we should make a start. The numbers are: if you want the pin and you join late, well, you've all been emailed it. Let's play. Round one is mystery. So you, you see the questions on the tablet. If it does go, um, and hopefully you can all." see me on youtube in some shape or form a bit better now right so question one what this is mystery round ready start the clock acdc black the who playing acdc black sabbath the who led zeppelin what rounds is there so i'll resort to my mind uh, pads if I do that. Uh, mystery history colors pictures brands and logos and movies there you go um Led Zeppelin was the answer. Men's and Maniacs were the fastest and going to an early lead. Here it does go. Very well done. Uh, Schladminges, we didn't get an answer for you. Do you just make... Um, Maybe it, they just really slow. Yeah, it could. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, next question. What date in July? Canada Day. So you need to put it on the keypad. What date in July? Is... I'm going to go for the seven. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's not the fourth. It's not the fourth because that Two. pendant's taken. Well, it on. is. The answer is the 1st of July. Two got it. The Lithium is well done. Good answer there. Of course, right. my has got it. You call them the New Yorkers. Yeah, they were known as the New Yorkers last night. Because, yeah. Who is often credited with creating the world's first car? Star Fox. Who is often, don't know, who is often credited with creating the world's first car? Car. They were dead in Gia. Well, was that? I can't remember. Carl Benz, Enzo Ferrari, Walter Owen Bentley, Henry Ford. I'm I think I know this. What do you go from the kitchen? I thought it was Henry Ford. I go Ford. for Enzo Ferrari. Yeah. It was Carl Benz, apparently. Team Hewitt got it right, and Eric's Domino's. I always thought it was Henry Ford. Right, yeah, Henry Ford's race the same was probably the, the the first commercially available. Well done, well done. 
Yeah. 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 Um, no, question four. Name classic film from the picture. Oh, that's Home Alone. Home Alone is alone. It's, yeah, it's mutants. It's here, yeah, Bala. There's my kill and bust, Bala. Get that, Bala. It it, no, it's not. No. Take, take me high. No, Summer holiday. You all answer like Eric. And you all put Summer holiday. Well done. Team Denny, the fastest there. Team uh, by 12 points above Lings. 10 teams signed. Not 19 for a Tuesday. Right. Like Which two? Go on, Eric. Do you want to read this one, please? Let's show you. No, no, properly. So that people can hear the streams of it. Go on. Which two of these big cats can purr but not roar? Thank you, Eric. Which two of these big cats can purr but not roar? Eric. Leopard, cougar, I'm gonna jaguar, go lynx. I think I. I think. You, I've you're, you ever get somebody really waiting for everyone to answer? Like if you think. Right, Eric, what do you know. think? Lynx and a leopard. Lynx and a leopard, you say. Oh, you got one. What well, did you get that right? No. I knew it wasn't a jaguar. I was between. It was a cougar and a lynx. Oh. I was between cougar. Uh, I was between. I definitely I thought it was lynx. Yeah. And then I was between a uh, cougar and leopard. Well. Well done, Eric. Men's domain acts the fastest. Well, Who I else got one. At least I got yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, don't bag it, please. Right. NYK is men's domain acts and me from me and him. We're the only three teams to get that. Right. Uh, question six coming up. In what year was the first ever Wimbledon Championship held? Your answer can be within five years. In what year was the first ever Wimbledon Championship held? Start the clock. Da, da, da. Da, 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 One, two people have got this. Whoa. Oh, no. Where's Grandma uh, and then Grandad John? I don't know. Grandma Power, we have in a shrimp bar in London, no, won't she? Um, and 1877 was the first ever Wimbledon Championships. The Wobble was the fastest there. What's the um, Wobble? It's Christine on her own from Wibsy Wobbles because Richard can't play tonight. So Christine's on her own doing brilliant, actually, because uh, she's in eighth place, top ten. Uh, actually, well, Where's 11, me? 11 Where's play. me? Where's you? Me. What, what do you mean, you? Where's me? Oh, me. From him and their ninth. So they're doing but, well. NYK who, is in the league. Which one's me and one's him? <laughs> <laughs> Nicola's me. So Nicola's playing on her own tonight. All right. He's what is the name This of, person's cheating. What is the name of Batman's... Robin. Start the clock. Car do you guys live in Kirklees? <laughs> Caroline says, do you guys live in Kirklees? Boris is promising up people on the guidance soon. That's all it seems it's to be. It's all it seems to be. Um, it seems to be Alba. guidance, doesn't it? It's all very... Um, well, we are. Alba. Yeah, we are. Um, it's, it's Alba, isn't it? Uh, Alfred, Alfred was the answer. Team who oh, was the fastest. Um, so and my K is in the lead. Team who is second. The, the Lings in third. What? The butler likes someone who does the film and things oh. that does everything for Batman. Yeah, posh man who answers the door and wait, is, is he a superhero? No, Batman's butler's not a superhero. Name the, the name, no name the comedian. It's. It's my dad. Okay. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Star the clock. Rob Beckett, Chris Ramsey, Chris James Caster, Josh Wiggum. It's you. It's you, Daddy. It's you. Mm. It's why. Hi. The answer is oh. Rob Beckett. Uh, Mr. Maniacs the fastest. NYK is in the lead. Team Hewitt second. Menston Maniacs in third at the moment. Okay, the game series was written by which author? Time starts now. Okay, right. Suzanne Collins and his Tammy Way, Carl Sandberg. The answer is this and stay in the lead. You would make it on it. Just, which two were characters in the banana split? Gov time. 
Bingo Drooper. Bingo Bling Drooper. It was the cartoon, wasn't it? Na 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 na. Um, it was a bit hippie, a bit of a hippie kind of kids show. Yeah, what does mean? it was like a bit of a great, strange '60s show. Anyway, which, what the... it was Bingo and Drooper. Um, team the fastest. Myk is Lings and Team Denny. The only three teams to get that right. Myk is. I think it's going to be your round two to go. Put these Volkswagen cars in order that they release. Thirsty time starts now. Jetta, Pol Passat, Golf. What's I do with this joke? I well, it's times it's a knock knock joke. So I yell who there and then do the who thing. Well they've got to go who's there. Knock knock. Just yell who's there. Oh, they knock, did, knock, they knock. did, they did. Okay. Where's the Well they're all going, where's the who? Yeah. Where's the who? Oh dear, <laughs> move on. Um, Passat, that was uh, 1972. Golf, 1970. Uh, and my K has got it wrong. So, last question of the round. Wait, get, it, get it wrong. Oh, it's oh, oh, just one minute, just one minute, one minute, because the signal's going to go. Okay, strictly. right. Name the strictly contestant oh, on it. picture, please. I know it when the answers come up. Start the clock, Joe Sugg, Kelvin Fletcher. Thom Evans. I think I know that you know. I yeah, I think it's Joe Sugg. Harry Judd. Next the fastest, but you know who won the round? It was the NYK's 13 teams on now. Give him a round of applause. Uh but, NYK's first winners tonight. I say it like what? Joe. Oh, Ling's are second. Let's see. Let's see third. Men's and Maniacs. Uh, team you all mean. I One D ten T's, uh, then uh, I know, oh. I know, I know. Just oh yeah, Bradford played the box. Hello to the box as well. Um, and it was back out then who came, who came out. So, then got, yeah, so we went from mystery to history is next. Mystery to. To play round Aque Sullis was the Roman name for which English city? Aque was the Roman name for My which English city? My among those characters going to kill the, the imposter. York, Chester, I'm the Bath, imposter. Buxton. I'm the imposter. The answer is Bath. Okay, Team Jenny with. The fastest. No, Emmy, don't do that. No. TIK second fastest, Menston Maniacs third. Question two. Which year was Korea divided into North Korea and South Korea? It's key on the keypads. Now, it's not letting you have any leeway, I don't think. No, someone has got it right. I am going to have a guess. 19, uh, 19, I was, 1955. I thought it was 50s. I thought 1954 or something. Oh, 1945. Oh. You got it right. Team Heward. Go in the league world and Team Heward, you were the only team to get that right. What? Did it have to be exact? You had to be exact. Name the English Queen picture, please. Well, of course, it's going to be the up-to-date one, so... No, it's not. Hey, no. There you go, Oh, Rick. that's easy. Uh, well, well. Josie and Eric are saying easy. Where it's you go? Easy. Elizabeth the first, Anne, Mary the first, Victoria. You, you all didn't, quickly. Yeah, everyone got that right. I see. I didn't even see that. Everyone said Victoria. Well Everyone's done. gonna get back to Victoria. Eric's Domino fastest, uh, going to third Ooh, place my there. Dominoes. Team Hewitt, Team Denny, Eric's Dominoes, Dominoes Men's to Maniacs is your top four. Who was the first leader of the Lib Liberal Democrat Party? And the Liberal Party and the Social Democratic Party in 1988. I'll repeat that, a long, long windy question. Who was the first leader of the Liberal Democrat sense. Party having mm. led the start of the clock? David Steele, Roy Jenkins, David Paddy Ashdown.
One. I can do that. Yeah, Eric. David Steele. Eric, stop it. Stop it, Eric. Right. David Steele was the answer there. Six of you got it right. Team Heward, MYK is, and the Lings are the top three. Dave, six in a row. Well done. Wait, who were the two US presidents, either side of Ronald Reagan being president? They spelled Reagan mean? wrong. So who were the two US presidents, either side of Ronald Reagan being president? So who wants to know the president before or Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan. Start the clock. Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Joe Ford, Carter. <laughs> Uh, George George H.W. Bush and Jimmy Hart the answer eight got it right Eric's dominoes are the fastest Team Heward NYK is in the Lings is your top three um, we'll do question six which South American country declared independent Portugal on September the 7th 1822 well that's easy which South American country declared independence Portugal it's Brazil because they speak the same language well done, Eric. Good logic. 12 got it right. Um, one lead 10 to use the fight. Name the English king. Carl's part Brazilian. They're in my class. So there is your picture now. Ooh. Oh, right. it... William Shakespeare. Right. <laughs> Start the clock. Charles I, James VI. No, the honestly, first, I don't James have a clue, if I'm honest. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. It's probably okay, James. The answer is Charles the first. Yeah. Charles the first. Um, team Heward, MYK is in the Lings is your top three. Okay. Why? Sterling Moss mean? became the first English winner of the British Grand Prix in what year? Sterling Moss became the first English winner of the British Grand Prix. Well, yeah, there's no leeway. It says. Mm. Where you go? Hard questions tonight. Um. What? Is... Can I have a guess? At... Is... I'll have a guess at 59. 58. Oh, 55. Lings are the only team to go right. Well done, Lings. And it's put you top of the, the leaderboard. Uh, next question. Put these English battles in date I was going order. To do first. Earliest first. Hastings. Trafalgar, Hastings. Hastings, Waterloo, Agincourt. What Trafalgar, <gasps> Hastings, Waterloo. Lou, yeah. Lou, right. Lou. Six seconds. Right. Lou. The answer is Hastings, 1066. Agincourt, 1415. Trafalgar, 1805. And my case is the three at in? the moment. Right. Three more on history. Mm -hmm. Some of you will be relieved for the end of the round. Uh, Rachel included. Which two prime ministers before? So Margaret Thatcher in 79, which Prime Minister was before Thatcher? Which Prime Minister was after Thatcher? Where you go? Okay. Um, Tony Blair, John Major, Harold Wilson, James Callaghan. Yeah, I know one of them. Yeah. Um, which one is it? What? Yeah, I know he was after it was John Major, but before was James Callaghan. Eric's dog the fact there going to fourth, Ling's NYK. Here's team Hugh and Eric's Domino's is four. Well done if you got that right. Um, question 11. Name the wife of Henry the Eighth pictured. Just please be on the line. Name the wife of Henry the Eighth pictured. Okay. Your Scotland, time so starts now. Catherine Parr, Catherine Howard, and of Cleves. I don't know. I want to clue, Eric. It's either it's one of the Catherine. Go, who do you think? Catherine. Die with Roger Moore. Um, what? No, no, no. <laughs> there was an actress called Jane Seymour in Living Let Die with Roger Moore. Uh, she was in Doctor Quinn Medicine Woman as well. Yeah, Doctor Quinn Medicine Woman. Hang on, just wait a minute. Do -da -da -do. <laughs> no, we are like tempt a couple of. Yeah, what was the name of the doctor who invented the Heimlich maneuver? Harry, Herbert, Harvey, Henry. Away you go. Harry, um, Harry, Harry Potter. So we just paused there whilst the connection was unstable. Harry, uh, Harry, Harry, it was Harry Potter. Henry Heimlich. No, I'm not Harry Potter. Eric's dominoes are the fastest, but the winners that round with the Lings. Give him a round of applause. One thousand six hundred eighty-six points. 
Second was the MIKs. Third was 1D10 Ts. Then we had Team Heward, Eric's Dominoes, Team Denny, Slam Minges. The books got that right, and they went up to eighth place there with that one. Well done, the books. Men's Maniacs ninth. Then we had me, and then, then the Wobble, Ermin Dawes, and Bradford ten. Blades. Um, just one minute. After, the next After this round, we're going to have a quick interval to... Okay, so... Yeah, we are. Uh, this round and then an interval. Uh, okay. So round three is colours. <gasps> LM Montgomery wrote Anne of What Colour Gables. Start the clock. LM Montgomery wrote Anne of What Colour Gables. Blue, yellow, red, green. Blue, yellow, red, green. Who's our um, Montgomery? An author. Mm. Yeah. Cranes to Crayola make. How many different colour crayons? I think I know. Do Crayola this. Make? On the keypads, how I many different colour crayons do Crayola make? I think I know. You think you know it? Wow. Well, there's I a lot of different colours. 42. 120. Oh, I thought Oh, you weren't far. So, Nobody got right, we'll move on. Oh, what colour are modern post boxes? Start the clock. What colour are modern French post boxes? Yellow, green, or wrong? So, best kind of saying is it Raven Cross or Full Pops? Sliverings or. Yellow. And Yellow. Eric Stomino is the fastest. Uh, they go in the. The Red Boogie. Was a paramilitary organization based in which country? Start the clock. The Red Brigade was a paramilitary organization based in which country? Spain, France, Italy, Germany. I know. Question that. four in round three. Yes. You know what? I know that. Do you? Yeah, and it's Turkey. It was Italy. NYK is the fastest. It's the wobble. Christine on her own that's in the lead above the books at the moment with nine to go. No pressure. Come on, Christine. Right. Uh, eight to go, I should have said. Question five. Which of the group pictured wore the colour purple? What? What? It's the Osmonds. It's a really bad picture of the Osmonds. Well, they've all got like... like Scarves or ties, but um, start the clock. Jimmy, Jay, Donny, Wayne. One of them wore purple there. Wayne, I'll be your long haired lover. Rudy, Wayne, Rudy, and it's Wayne. It was Donny. It's your top five. Osmond, right. What is the cos mark in the left hand edge of a motorway? Start the clock. What is the colour of the studs marking the left hand edge of a motorway? Green, yellow, white, red. Red. I do have to remember any until after this round. What? I should know it. Yeah. Uh, it's red. Five got it right. Yeah. The books were the fastest. Well done, the books. You got to third, Team Hewitt second, 1D10 Ts the first. Books were the fastest there. Well done. Question seven. Which two words could have white in front of them to be phrase? Yes. Which two words could have white in front of them to be phrase? Start the clock. Moon, feather, noise, fingers. White. I know one of them. White noise. White moon. I mean, there's a film called White Noise, isn't there? Very good film. White, um, moon. white fingers. That could be a red eye product. That. What? What? White fingers. I've never seen an advert saying if you've got white fingers, claim compensation. What? I don't remember a voiceover going, if you've had white fist yeah, text. Yeah. No, I don't remember that, love. That's Nobody's going to agree. Nobody's going to remember a compensation for white fingers, love. What, in the 70s? What? 80s, 90s. When we were kids, there used to be them compensation. Did you work in industrial? I don't remember that. Um, white feather one. I don't remember that. Uh, Richard from Whitby Wobbler says, Hi, Chris. Say hello 
from the other wobbler. Christine has had trouble with you, but she's okay now. Hello to Lauren and Michael, too. Me and Lauren to Yorkshire Air Museum on Sunday. A treat for us both. Oh, have a good time. Um, right. Uh, next question. The men's maniacs are the fastest team. Hewitt in the lead to go, and then we'll have an interval. Question number eight when it loads up. What colour is... Oh, these is either black. Maybe we can now garden. The answer is Mine. brown. I mean, is the fastest there. Um, well done. First fastest answer of the night in the kitchen. Team Hewitt, one D ten T's in the bus. You were. You haven't been fastest on any others, have you? Which one? No, I don't think you have. Yeah, no, no, don't think so. Well, I don't give you credit for white fingers. Has she been fastest? I don't think she has. I don't think she has. Back me up, people. How many shades of green do Crayola crayons make? Keep in now. How many shades of green do Crayola crayons Listen, make? Listen, there's 12 main colours. Oh, I know what you're going to say, Ian. I reckon there's 10. You think 10? 20? Don't ask me how. Nobody got it right. There's a lot of green. Which of the Teenage Mutant Turtles wore red? My friend, you know. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. Uh, start the clock. Michelangelo. Don't give it out, please. Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. Well, I, I, want... I think you might be wrong. It's Raphael. What? Phew. I was going to say, don't give out the answer, Eric. Right? Um, I knew Donatello was purple. Uh, that was my favourite. Michael, uh, Michelangelo, Michelangelo was orange, Michelangelo. I think. Um, oh, Ten yeah. T's, Team Denny and the Lings is your top three. The Team Hewitt and the Books got that wrong. Next question. Which two colours would you mix to make blue? Bit of blue. Start the clock. What? Mix anything to make blue. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, it's like the only live twice question all over again. Rachel saying, well... Where is purple? Well, let's see what the answer comes up out here. Rachel's saying you can't mix anything to make blue and... Yeah, you can. Red and purple. No. Cyan and magenta, it's the same. No, just no. Rachel's saying no. Blue is a Look, Lauren and Michael got it right. Lauren and Michael probably explained to Rachel why it's uh, cyan and magenta, but it doesn't matter. Well done. You got the point. Uh, Maybe they just guess. Doesn't matter if they guessed, they got it right. They were the only team to get it right. Well done, Lauren and Michael. Uh, right, what, what color are the stars in China? Get it wrong, you lose 100 points. What color are the stars on the flag of China? Um, are they red, blue, green, or yellow? Don't wind them up. Um, Right, They're the yellow. cyan and magenta. Uh, no. Someone put red? No, it weren't red. Who put red? Um, no, Bradley it wasn't Blade. red. It was Bradley yellow. Eric's dominoes are the fastest. Brown were over in Brighouse. 1D10 T's. Give a round of applause. Uh, Denny, Team Hewitt, number fourth. NYK, and Irving Dawes. The men's to make the wobble, the books, Eric's dominoes. Chlad Minges, me and Bradford. We're going to pause. We'll ask Eric and Joseph to bed. See you in five minutes. Get a drink of snacks, and then we'll carry on with the second half of the quiz. See you shortly.
things. <laughs> uh, so if, well, let's wait till source tower will give her a few minutes to catch up. Um, but a reminder, if you did tune in, that you can hit our uh, my now one marathon this Monday at St. Luke's Sound UK one which leave it on in the background. Uh, um it, it's gonna be great. Just finished it today. I think you'll be pleased with it. And you can also listen to it between four seven PM on Bank Holiday Monday on Chippenham Hospital Radio.com. They've got the listen live facility 3T FM on Saturday. Today at twelve, uh, but it's great. That stations are picking it up. It's um, some great music in that one as well. Um, so give that a listen if you get a chance the weekend. Um, Caroline, from what you were saying in the first half, it sounds like kind of backtracking over the um, Kirklees and the other areas. I just had a quick read. Then I was like, oh, so a, a, a day of confusion. I think um, <laughs> who knows. But um, but yeah, um, but yeah. In terms of answering Lauren's question as well, before we go back, yes, uh, the Chapel House has got a quiz next Monday. Uh, it's at quarter past eight. Start. You can book. Still happening on Bank Holiday. Then the week after, uh, I'm not there. But Daryl, one of the regulars, is going to do a pen and paper quiz. That's the plan for the next couple of weeks. Uh, the quiz is Wednesday next week. Apologies, it's on Tuesday this week. I genuinely think that the stream would have struggled even more tomorrow night uh, with Manchester United on in the Europa League. So uh, maybe I'm wrong. We'll never know, will we? Uh, but I think it would have. So that's why I really decided to move it to uh, tonight. But I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit funny. Rachel just, Rachel just said that it feels funny doing it on a Tuesday. It probably does. So you've got me to blame and uh, apologies. It's Because then you get excited then thinking it's Wednesday, don't you? The halfway point in the week, isn't it? Um, but anyway, that's round three ketchup's out of the hair um so let's find out who wins in the second half round four is pictures name the hoover pictured chapel house she had a question like this last night didn't we but it's a different hoover it's a different hoover to the question last night name the hoover pictured away you go is it henry james Oh dear, Rachel said then. Henry, James, Hetty, or George. Are you all right? You just poke your eye. Oh. Um, the answer was Hetty. Team. You pressed Henry. Oh, God, that's even worse. Oh. Team Denny got that in the fastest. <coughs> Eric Stromo second. One, <coughs> one D10 season third. Excuse me, one minute. Right. Next question. Name the classic <coughs> board game in <coughs> the picture. Oh. It's not obvious. I don't know what it is. Start the clock. Solitaire, checkers, Chinese checkers, mastermind. It's Chinese checkers. I didn't know that. Rachel thought solitaire. Anyway, the wobble. Christine got that the fastest. Team Denny and the wobble joint first at the moment after two questions. Okay. Who wrote the book pictured here? So who wrote the book? Oh, I do know that answer. Okay. Start the clock. Of course, there's the line from the uh, Billy Joel song, isn't it? We didn't start the fire that mentions the catcher in the rye. Great Billy Joel song. Um, it's J.D. Salinger, though. Uh, 12 got it right. Schlemingers with the fastest there. Well done, Jude. Um, Denny Wobble and Team Heward is your top three. Okay. okay, next question. Who is the royal prince pictured? Okay. Start the clock. Is it Louis, William, Edward, George? 11 got it right. It's George, Christina in this round. Um, the Wobble in the lead. Tanya Menston Maniacs. That's the top three. Well, Lauren, enjoy the Air, Mu Air Museum on Sunday uh, with Richard. Question five. Name the cartoon character pictured here. 
Oh, what was her name? Rachel does know, right. Dill Pickles, Kimmy Finster, Angelica Pickles, Lulu Pickles. I do know now they've come up. It was Angelica. It was. Her indoors was the fastest. Um, so, her indoors up to ninth. Team Denny retaining the lead. Let's see what happened. Team Denny, my mum and dad are in uh, North Wales at the minute. They're in London. They went to the Landudno Whiskey Distillery that's opened up uh, today that we went to. Uh, well, off the back, I think that's quite easy. Um, start the clock. It was Manchester. Put you out there, Rachel. You're up to. You recognise the building in the background. <laughs> um, well, well. Who is the celebrity chef in the picture? Um, I think I know it. Um, I thought it was Graham Kerr. It was Graham Kerr. Um, my case in the books got it. Yeah, was he from New Zealand? I can't remember. But I thought, yeah, anyway, well done. Uh, question number eight. Name the stage musical from that picture. Hairspray musical Rent. Joseph and the Amazing Technical Luca. I think you'll be all okay. No, it wasn't Hairspray. No, who said Hairspray? Schleiman just, no, sorry, Judy. It was Joseph and the Amazing Dreamcoat. Team Denny with the fastest. Uh, uh, the Wobble second, the Maniacs in third. What breed of dog, number nine, is pictured? So, I'll show you a picture. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Star the cock. Is it an English cocker spaniel, an American cocker spaniel, a clumber spaniel, or a field spaniel? I think it might be a spaniel. He's... You have to tell Auntie Irene, Caroline, we've booked to go to Dorset um, in August. We're going to then. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're not, far, not far from Swanee, aren't we? Not bad. So, uh, yeah, I, I've never been anywhere around there. Um, yeah, just nature speech as well. Isn't it? Yeah. The English cocker spaniel was the answer. Team Hewitt of the fastest. Me, uh, got it right. Who else got it right? 1D 10 T's as well. Right, next question. Name the business. Oh dear, I do know it now. It's come. I, I do know it. Um, sitcom is it a sitcom? Well, start the clock. Quite a recent one. It is I thought it was are you being served and it was I great in favour. King Gary indeed. Team in the men's domain X and me is your top three. Question eleven. Who is the royal child pictured here? So I'll just show you a picture. Start the clock. Anne, Diana, Margaret, Sarah. Okay, the answer is Anne. NYK is the fastest. Minster Maniacs in the lead now. Me in second, Team Denny in third, and the Wobble in fourth. Right. Who is it? And I'll read your email. Is that you can email me, remember? Oh. It's Richard Chamberlain who played a doctor in a 60s show called Doctor Something. Start the clock. Um, Doctor Nook, Doctor Pierce, Doctor Kildare, Doctor Quinn. It's not Doctor Quinn, is it? That was Jane Seymour. Uh, what'd you go for? Doctor Kildare. You're right. It was Doctor Kildare. Um, of course, he was also in the 80s in the Thornbirds, wasn't he, Richard Chamberlain? Uh, one d ten to the winner that round was Nicola on her own. He 
It's me. Who? Another team. It's only got one player to Chris in second. The wobble. Um, second place. Well done. That's a. You two should be proud. Third place, Team Heward. Fourth, Mike. Fifth, the Lings. Six, Friends to Maniac. Seven, well done. Eight, Team Denny. Well done to you. Ninth, 1D10Ts. Tenth, Erin Doors. Uh, you can email Chris C. Benton at hotmail.co.uk. Quick one uh, for oh, Lauren says, Cyan Magenta, a printer ink cartridge colours that mix to make blood. Um, Caroline says, uh, Caroline says, Caroline says, I've mo I've spent most of the day thinking it's Wednesday, so this doesn't feel so oh, have a shock on Friday when we still have to go to work. <laughs> um Is Cyan a shade of blood? I don't know. And says you must go and see Durdle Door. It's lovely. Is that in Dorset? Durdle Door. Wait, is, have you been there? Yeah, it's just an arch. Is it a door? To rock arch and see, I'll go to there. Yeah, it's on, yeah. All right. Well, keep them coming. Um, oh, Lou says, I missed the first round uh, and I keep dropping out. I keep not in questions. So I'm doing very badly. It doesn't matter, Lou. You're here. And it was great to see you and Paul last night as well. Um, but thank you. you. You're joining in. That's all that matters. You, 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 you're part of it. Uh, right. Round five then coming up now. Um, so we'll move on to round five. And it's brands and logos. How many can you identify? All right. So question one. It's very first in pioneered by Henry Ford, though it was only patented in the year 1937 and consequently commenced its production in action, West London. And the use was pioneered by Henry Ford, though it was only patented in the year 1937 and consequently, Acton's a place in West London, isn't it? Anyway, your guess is as good as mine. Away you go. Is it Sellotape, Andrex, Fred Perry, or Post-it notes? That's a tough question. What did you go? You went for Sellotape. It was sellotape. The wobble. Christine was the fastest there. Uh, well done. Bradford Blades. Lou, well done. Uh, the Lings uh, also got that right. And me did as well. Let's move on. In what year did Action Man make its UK debut? So it says type in the correct number. It's not giving me any leeway. I always thought. Well, no, no, it was a, it was a figure. Yeah. Right. So it wasn't a TV show. It was always just a figure. I remember the adverts were like the 70s, but was it earlier than that? I don't know. I thought late 70s, but that is probably no help because it may have been earlier than that. Um, three have got it right. The answer is 1966. Oh, I put 64. You put 64. Three got it right. Team Heward. NYK is in the links, the only three teams to get it right. Um, so, next question, question three. Name the company from the logo. All right. Oh, dear. What's that? Okay. Away you go. Caroline, send me a picture of Durdle Door. There you go. There's Durdle Door. It looks nice. That might be worth it. Yeah, look at that door. Right. Um, I don't know that. Ralph Lauren, Daily Express, Burberry, Polo. Um, what did you go for? The answer is Burberry. One team got it right. Uh, Men's to main acts for the fastest there. Um, the Lings holding on to the lead. Terry, on behalf of Sherlock Holmes who informs interested parties that the legendary detective has a now keep bees in Surrey. Name the company. So this is saying, this is saying, right, let me try and, let's try and decide for this question. This company's London HQ has employed a secretary on behalf of Sherlock Holmes. So it sounds like whoever this company is, they employ someone who tells people that the detective now keeps bees in Surrey when they ring, Surrey when they ring up. That's my understanding. But who does that? Sherlock Holmes isn't real, is it? Well, Sherlock Holmes isn't real, no. 
Start the clock. Is it AstraZeneca, Unilever, Abbey National, BP? I have no idea. Somebody employs someone. Somebody employs someone to tell people that Sherlock Holmes keeps bees in Surrey. Who? Abbey National did. I well, got well. I got that. I just, only because I think AstraZeneca and Unilever don't have the headquarters in London. And I didn't think BP did. Well, Abbey National are non existent now, aren't they? But, um, yeah, Santander. Santander now. But Abbey House occupy 221B Baker Street, which is why they have this kind of gimmick, apparently. Um, NYK is the wobbles. Eric's Dominoes and Erin Doors were the only four teams to get that stupid question right. Uh, name the company from part of its logo. Right, oh, that, that's, that's probably a bit better, that one, isn't it? Start the clock. Lipton. Subway, Yellow Pages, EE. -E. Hope you're all having a good Tuesday. Hate to tell you it is Tuesday. Um, the answer is EE. -E. 1D10T -E is the fastest. NYK is Team Hewitt and the Lings, the top three. Christine's just out of the, the top three with the wobble. Uh, but yeah, EE -E was the answer there. Right, round five. Question six. Which two brands are owned in the UK by Kraft Foods? Which two brands are owned in the UK by Kraft Foods? Start the clock. Capri Sun, Kit Kat, Shake and Back, Dairy Lee. Do the Shake and Back. Is that still going, Shake and Back? Must be. When your cap, it smells fresh. Remember, the answer is Capri Sun and Dairy Lee. Oh, uh, Advert slogans you can't say anymore. Crikey, Dairy Lee's that, um, yeah, that got it. Yeah, but you can, kids will do anything for the taste of Dairy Lee. That, yeah, do you remember that one? Yeah, uh, right. Next question, moving on. Which brand was bought by Lever Brothers the year that saw the Treaty of Versailles and the historic achievement of Nancy Astor, the first female member of parliament to chair? in the House of Commons. I'll repeat that. Which just brand... Just, just Rachel says just yeah. don't, Brad. Which brand was bought by Lee the Brothers in the year that saw the Treaty of Versailles and the historic yeah, achievement of Nancy Astor? It is a long-winded question. Nancy Astor, first female MP. What's that got to do with it, really? No. Um, Purcell was the answer. Eric's Domino was the fastest. Men's Domaniacs first. Me and the books. Got it right. So I right. Next question. Its first product was a rice cooker, but it also created the TC-50 tape recorder used in the Apollo 10 space flight. Name the brand. So is it JBC, Philips, Grundy, or Sony? First product was a rice cooker, but they also created the TC-50 tape recorder used in Apollo 10. Rachel says nobody cares, but I have a guess, you know. Sony Team got that the fastest, but you know who got it right? Eric Domino's did. They're going the lead. Team Heward and One D Ten T's got it. And Schlagman just. Oh. Um, Lauren says, presume you have visited down south for your jollies uh, with someone mentioning Dirtle Door. There we are in late August to end at school holidays, Lauren. That's right. Lulworth Cove is worth a visit if you haven't been. Is that one. Lulworth Cove, she says, Lawrence, Rachel's been, see, I've not been to any of these places. Uh, very scenic and pretty and a nice pub to eat at nearby too. There you go, Lulworth Cove as well as Durdle Door. Right, keep them coming, Dorset. I think people say it's just to get to like the rehab for his so can you give us some recommendations oh. for like, you know, play centres or theme parks? Oh, Rachel says, anyone, any recommendations for Dorset kind of Theme parks for the kids or play areas, things like that. Yeah, I'd I'd love to go to a pub. That's true. Pubs are pub pub. We would look. We could just go. There you go, kids. Stand that beach. Now. We, yeah, the kids will go. It's boring. Is there any any good theme parks down there? Any suggestions? Keep them coming. Yeah, Chrissy Benson at homeout.co.uk. Question nine. Name the company from part of its logo. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. 
Oh, Sarah says, where in Dorset are you going? I'll send some ideas over. Whereabouts is it? Swanee, Jarl said. Not Swanee, but near near Bournemouth, too, I'll put that. <laughs> uh, right, what's the logo? Start the clock. It's like an interview. We're here with Judith Chalmers today at Sky Freeview BT ITV. I don't have a clue. I don't know this one. Um, ITV was it? Eric's Dominoes, NYK is team. You were just fastest with the NYKers. Me got it right as well. Three to go in this round. In what year did Hungry Hippos make its oh, UK debut? Answer oh, within two. Oh, so you're allowed two? Yeah, you're allowed two for you're this. Allowed two for knowing, like, when action came out, but you're allowed to not quite remember Hungry Hippos. No, what, what kind of, like, I don't know. It's a what. Why is he lending you about Hums? I don't know. Um, oh, you can't quite remember what happened in the 80s, but you need to see what happened in the 60s. 1978. Oh, well, NYK is me, the 70s team, Danielle got it right. Uh, two to go in this round. It produced 2.5 million bayonets during the First World War and was named after one of the apprentices of Henry Nock. Now its products are more at home in our bathroom. Name the company. Remington, Wilkinson Sword, Braun, Panasonic. Now, is that, I don't know. I used to say, is it the obvious, but. Well, I thought that with the, but is it Wilkinson Sword? Yes, it is. I thought with the the, the logo, is, yeah, the sword. Um, Caroline Hewitt says, it's always a hoot at Polton's Park, home of Peppa Pig World, but there's rides for the kids as well. There you go. Polton's Park, Park home of Pepper. Oh, I there you go. Um, another another suggestion, Caroline says, Pool Harbour is lovely to visit. We did a boat trip around the islands. There you go. Daddy Pig. Pepper Pig, yeah. Uh, I would have got Pepper Pig, well. Kids, adults like Pepper Pig. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if the kids don't like it, don't okay. I like Peppa Pig. Right. Uh, question 12. Name the company from part of its logo, please. So, uh, but we do have Blackpool first. So, you might even have suggestions for Blackpool. I mean, some we haven't, Rachel's found a few micro. Yeah. This is the logo. Yeah, yeah. Right. Start the clock. Is it McDonald's, Abbey National, Shell, NCP? What's obsession with Abbey National tonight? Abbey National, so it sounds like someone at Quizbit has had a grievance over an account of Abbey National. He's never over the fact that it's changed to Santander. Um, the answer is Shell. Men's to Maniacs are the fastest, but the winners of that round, it was Eric's Dominoes. Well done, Eric's Dominoes. Um, second, Team Heward. Third, Men's to Maniacs. Fourth, The Wobble. Fifth was me. Sixth was 1D10Ts. Then seventh was MYK. Is then Team Denny, the Lings, and Erin Dawes. We have one more round to go. Hope you're all enjoying yourself. Who's going to win our final round? Uh, round six is at the movies. So grab your popcorn for the final round this evening. We're taking you to the movies. Question number one. What critically panned 1984 musical comedy star Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone eventually became a cult classic? Do you know what? I think I don't know this. Start the clock. Nine to five. Rhinestone, the rancher. Blazing. Um, it's got to be one of the, the ones I've not heard of. I'll go for the rancher because I've never heard of it. I don't think it's nine to five. I don't think Sylvester Sloan was in nine to five. It was Rhinestone anyway. Um, NYK is the fastest. Never heard of that film, I'll be honest. Uh, but NYKs go into... Who played the Green Goblin in the 2002 film Spider-Man? I've seen it. I used to have it on VD. Away you go. Mick Stahl, Corey Feldman, Willem Def Tobey Maguire. Oh, I do know it. Major's looking where Peppa Pig was. this. <laughs> no, Willem Dafoe anyway. 1D10 is the fastest. Um, oh, fast, but... um, MYK's Menster Maniacs and the Lings is your top three. 
Peppa Pig. Well, I think we should do it. How many Oscars has Meryl Streep been nominated for? Oh, that's a tough one. Key it in now. I, I think what was it? The first nomination was for that film where they all got the like the radiation poisoning. What was it called? It was on Talking Pictures the other week. Was it Silkwood? Was Cher? Probably wrong on the title. I think it was that film. Um, the answer, anyway, was 21 Oscars that she's been nominated for. Crikey. Um, so no change in the leaderboard. We'll move on with nine to go. Um, yeah. Oh, what is the name of Riley's friend in the Disney Pixar film Inside Out? Start the clock. TikTok, Bing Bong, Ping Pong, Rip Rap. Rachel's on Peppa Pig World. Um, it's Bing Bong. Rachel's on Zero. They don't worry. Uh, you know what? Meta in the lead, 555 points in this round. NYK is in the link second and third. Let's see what happens with question five. Name the movie from the blank post, please. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know that. I'll be honest. Um, maybe it's obvious when the answers come up. Let's go. Dial M for murder. Rope, vertigo, rear window. Well, oh. The answer is vertigo. Well done, Mr. Maniacs, with the fastest again, saying the lead. Uh, from Schladminger's. Says Rachel, I can recommend Peppa Pig World for kids, but it's painful for grown ups. Do you mean, do you mean like the seats are painful, or do you just mean it's like a cringe worthy kind of? I mean, I mean, you know, I don't mind because there's kind of like jokes for adults in there in it, but uh, yeah, you know, you have to if you mean thing, no, I'll have to have a look at a map now. But what I, what, I, what I think we need to do after this quiz, Rachel, is find a video that. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, Daisy May Cooper, Caroline says, has been to Poulton's Park today. I follow her on Instagram. And this made me laugh. Oh, so, oh, my word. And whoa, oh, so, all oh, right. So, um, that's a picture from someone on Instagram today, Daisy May Cooper. So, uh, the mum looks more petrified than the kid there. That's from Peppa Pig World today. See that that could be fun for that us. Really fun I for think us. we could have. I think we could make something. Of That's that. effective use of. Well, yeah. I mean, the masks there, around. There. There. Yeah, I mean. Great. But anyway. Wearing some masks. What is the brand of cigarettes used in Quentin Tarantino's films? Okay. You know what's best it's about time starts now. Camel, Marlboro, okay. Golden Pine, Red, Red Apple. Apple. I have no idea. I like Pepper Pig because I like how. Could you see it here? You could see it here. So I rate about it. And like get really cross about it and that like think blame Peppa Pig, you know, because the kids are naughty. No, your kids are naughty because you're a sharon, right? <laughs> We're made yeah. for kids. Oh, sorry. <laughs> your kids are naughty <laughs> because you're not parenting them or you're not disciplining them or whatever. Or they're just a naughty kid. It's not Peppa Pig's fault. But the kid oh, parents, I don't mind Peppa Pig. The parents that get so like, oh, it's still because she just watches Peppa Pig. That's why she's so naughty. It's like, no. no. I don't mind Peppa Pig. I'm a, I'm all <laughs> Peppa Pig's, uh, you can oh, learn a lot Miss from Peppa Pig. Rabbit. Miss, Miss Rabbit, yeah. Miss Rabbit anyway, Red Pink. Apple is She's the... Got, like, uh, job, she? Miss, she has, Rabbit. Miss Rabbit does all, she does she does all the jobs, doesn't she? Like, really Red really Apple was the brand, Link's the fastest, Mr. Main X in the lead. Like, like, I think I have a girl crush on it. Well, right, okay. Um, no, if you, if you had to. I yeah. I'm quite in awe of her, to be honest. Which two of these movies were directed by Oscar winner George Miller? I don't care. There you go. Mad Max. Happy Feet, I actually Jungle Book, don't care a few good men. It's because you're not in your white. It's because you're not out of wine. Because it's Tuesday night. You can't choose it, can you? Why can't you drink on a Tuesday? There's no law because about drinking on a Tuesday. Hump day, is it? It's not what day? Hump day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is it not? You can't drink um, on a Tuesday. Apparently, it's not hump day. Um, you can drink on a Wednesday because that's hump day. And I'm sure Thursday, people can give you a reason for drinking on a when Tuesday. You get to Thursday, Wake up and you were like, yeah, I've had a drink. It doesn't matter. 
because it's Thursday and it's near. I think you need to give Rachel a reason to drink on a Tuesday night. It's weekend Eve. The... You cannot. It's Friday Eve Eve. Eve, Eve. It's Wednesday tomorrow. Isn't um, it? Mad Max and Happy Feet. Uh, one guy right next to me is tomorrow. the writer. I've got to, you know. You got yourself why? Come on, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Tomorrow it's every second Wednesday. It's the big night in Jenny Harry's update tomorrow. Oh, she's on a public health England update tomorrow. You'll get we'll, we'll get turned for. off in a minute. That's what I live for. Um, every two weeks. Put you these know. Disney movies in order of winning an Oscar. From Early nonsense. First, on you, a should Wednesday. Ask her, you should ask her a question tomorrow. I'm going to ask. Her Put these Dis- Disney movies in order of winning an Oscar earliest first. Say from Kurt Lee's Ratatouille, Tarzan, yeah, Finding Kurt Nemo. Lee's, the and I've got out of my house. <laughs> Come and arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can shove your vaccine up your ass. Don't think they'll do it that way, fear. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Put the Disney films in order of winning an Oscar. Going for a big fat zero in this round, or maybe even a minor. Tarzan, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, oh, Ratatouille. Right well, well done, you see. Uh, question nine Name the movie from the blank post, please. Um, Jude says, and I am definitely drinking on Tuesday just because it's a quiz night. That's a good enough excuse for me. I think, Jude, I think you've right. You see, applause to Jude. She's just taking a quiz night. I think, you know what? I'll have a drink on Tuesday. She's going to wake up in the morning and be so depressed. Because <laughs> now you're just tricking her. She's going to wake up in the morning and be like, oh, it's Thursday. It's down now to the weekend. And so I slap her in the face and go, it's Wednesday. The fact that you've got your days mixed up, that's all you do, isn't it? Oh. Uh, no, you have a 0% doom bar. No, you, you have a 0% doom bar. don't have any proper beer left in the cupboard. Oh, dear. <laughs> Lion King was the answer. A tonic was no doom. Lion King was the answer. Which name did John Travolta bolch? Was there a question? What name did John Travolta bolch when announcing the winner? Bolch. Botch. Oh, botch, botch up. Botch. 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 Oh, salad clock. <laughs> what name did he mess up? Nicola P- did, I, I won't have one on YouTube, but Dan, after last did, week. Did he, um, um, did he tie him all with the same brush? He did tie him all with the same brush. Do you know what? I thought that was a saying, people. <laughs> Don't even right? Just from hearing a news article earlier on WhatsApp. <laughs> Don't make me like she's red. And I said that they tie everyone with the same brush. Yeah, and I said that. And Rachel, when you realise that's not the phrase. No, I just said what kind of brush that can tie people. I thought that was the phrase. You tie everyone with the same brush. You tie everyone. Apparently, you tie everyone with the same, you tie same brush. Now, what? You don't like to say it now because it's racist. Why? I don't know. Just it's on the list of things. But well, you can't say it anymore. You recall it in diversity training. Right. Apparently, you can't say it anymore. I don't Wait. know why. It's- just but do you know what you, you know what you say then instead? Then you say you tie everyone with the same brush, <laughs> and then that, that's obviously um, yeah. you can say right. The answer was Adina Menzel. Oh, uh, oh. Men's domain is the fastest and retain the lead. Uh, question eleven: How many Oscars has Meryl Streep? Oh, What's the obsession brilliant. with Meryl Streep right. and Oscars? So we know she had, so we know 21, she had twenty-one nominations, nominations but how many did she win? Start the clock. Like... Uh, Sarah how from Team Denny has sent you. Oh. There's a couple of links, so I will forward them, yeah, because there's the House of Marbles. Oh, that sounds quite exciting. It's free, favourite and free place down south, she says, but it's a couple of hours from you. The House of Marbles. I that's worth uh, She's also sent a link, 20 best things to do in Swanage. Um, the House of Marbles does sound quite good, Sounds like, a, like an indie I'm band, sure. the House of Marbles. Sure we would get Arthur out, though, because Arthur's quite, like... He just loves his marbles, yeah, it? we'd lose him. Yeah, yeah, we would. Three Oscars. She's won. <gasps> oh and Dor- you were the only team to get that right. I know. I was the fastest. Come and tell the only one. Who was the only person ever to nomination for acting in the Star Wars film? Um, this Tuesday quiz pop because I think it might be Tuesday whiskey. Then um, start the Alec Guinness, Clark, Mark yeah. Hamill, Ewan McGregor, Carrie Fisher. I Do I know? Him. I think him. I think he got not. Didn't he win it? I think it is. Top one. Oh, all right. I thought it was a posthumous Carrie Fisher nomination. Oh, God. Oh, she did? Yeah. Died before the last one was released, weren't she? I, that's a... Oh, she died not that long ago. No, I was wrong. It was Alec, oh, Alec, Alec Guinness. Game. Carrie Fisher wrong. died not that long ago, didn't she? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Alec Guinness. Didn't she... Um... Present something, didn't put the But anyway, Menster Maniacs, you won that round. Well done, Menster Maniacs. Well, um, second oh, place was the Lings, third was the NYKs, then the Eric's Dominoes, Brad Fours, then 1D10T, 
Yankees, Team Hewitt, and the Slag Ninjas. But who has won? We've it means all the Peppa Pig world and um, and everything else. Who has won the quiz? Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Is right, who, that it? Is there that only is 10 it? Teams and I'm 10. No, no, there's 13, 14 teams. Oh, there was only 10. No, no, there was 13, 14. Um, okay. It was the Lings. Well done, the Lings. Oh, well done. 8,033 points. And your score came fifth in the country. So well done, the Lings. Give me a round of applause. Second was the NYKers. Uh, third was the Menston Maniacs. Well done, Lauren and Michael. Uh, fourth was Team Heward. Fifth, Eric's Dominoes. Sixth, Team Denny. Seventh, 1D 10 Ts. Then the Wobble. Then me. Then the Books. And I'll just. Top 10 tonight. I'll just, just mention shocking. everyone else because you know I will do. It's, just, um, it's a Tuesday, you know. It's, just a Tuesday. it's not because it's a Tuesday, it's because it you're sore, but that's what it is, I tell you. It's because it's a Tuesday, it's why I'm so because it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I like how you make out that I'm normally pissed every Wednesday. I don't know how to do it. It's kind of Wednesday for the last three weeks, I don't think. Oh dear, oh dear. No matter, we're back next Wednesday uh, as normal, oh, 8 o'clock. Uh, and then the Week after it'll be a pre-recorded one whilst we're suddenly up in Costa del Blackpool. Um, lost she wins. Pre-recorded one. We'll be lost she tomorrow. We'll be lost she tomorrow. Yeah, but, but yeah, they're they're this one again. Um, the uh, who did it mention? Oh, they're indoors in eleven. Schlagminges and then Bradford Blades, Lou. So there you go. Um, yeah, but Lou missed the first round. Yeah, you should we say you yeah. came last? Yeah, I will do that. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all for playing. Uh, and uh, keep your Dorset suggestions coming. Thank you uh, to Jude, Sarah, and Cam over, and Lauren as well. Um, keep them coming and um, have a great. See you in eight days' time for the next quiz. Bye for now. Good night.